what it is, people. It's Saturday. This is my favorite day because we're doing some repairs today. We actually got an underground pool return leak that sprung on one of my great clients. We've already started halfway. I've done the pressure testing. Negative, came out negative. Okay, means that it's not holding pressure. We did a pool uh, leak detection last week. Dove in the pool to make sure that the, the entire shell and everything on the inside, around the main drains, around the pool returns, inside the pool light, all those different facets. Spa was holding fine. So didn't find anything in there. That was a uh, a, uh, a good result. But in the pool returns, doing a dye test, we noticed that the pool return was sucking it in there, which gave me a pretty good idea that it was a pool return pipe. So nevertheless, we're back here at the job site, setting everything up. I've already done the pressure test, as I said. Let's go check it out. Come in here. As you can see, I got my rig all hooked up, pool return, pressurized, not holding any pressure. We already backed down all of the pressure in the pool. I'm gonna be setting up my tent because it's massively hot. This is where we found the culprit, right here, this pool return. So we got them all plugged up with our inch and a half test plugs. Now, let me finish setting this baby up. got the hole dug all the way around and we have a TS I predicted it would be see the cut right there that's where our leak is coming from so now we're going to obviously we're going to leave our plugs all in place and we're going to cut 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 and then we're going to rebuild this back up it's going to be higher up but nevertheless we're going to go ahead and repair this Alrighty, my people, we are all finished up here. We had to come up and over, and luckily we were able to fit a uh, pipe extender inside of there to achieve the same uh, line that we currently had there. So we had to build it up, came up with an elbow down here, up to a T, elbow, 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 fixed it up here. This job is complete. We got some rains coming in right now, still under the tent. So I'm gonna let this dry up a little bit more. We're gonna repressurize the pipe to ensure that we have a uh, solid positive static test going on here. This is a good job. We are adding water back into the plumbing to repressurize the pool returns. So far, so good. I'm gonna build it out to about between eight to 10 pounds. And that's a very good sign. And we have no other leaks. Let's go check out our hole. Everything's looking perfect. All right, let's go back. Mm. 
right there, 10 pounds. All right, she's holding. This tells us this is a positive static test. We're holding 10 PSI within the whole entire plumbing of the pool returns. So now, since we're holding and everything looks all good, that gives me the A-OK. -okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna backfill our hole back again. We're going to decompress the whole entire pool return area. We're gonna actually, we're gonna do that right now. Turn off our water hose. Take our rig out. We're gonna put that back together. Let's go back fill that hole. All right, and my people, we are all finished up here. Fix the pool return. Let me go ahead and show you. Oh, it's already done. Deck is already put back together. Looking nice. Clean up the whole entire area. Wash it all down. Make sure there's no dirt or debris. Put all the pool returns, eyeballs back, and even the vacuum line back lock. So all we got to do is go ahead and pick up here. We've also put back all of our valve system and with the electronic valve as you can see it right there all fact all finished up hit the subscribe button like my page let me know in comments what you liked about this let me know what you didn't like about this and thank you very much till the next time peace out keep moving forward y'all